Hello YouTube and welcome to your ninth Java tutorial. I think it might be the eighth. Whatever. Um, so in this tutorial we're going to be creating a random number generator. Now um, I was going to do a, a tutorial showing you how to make a window but right now that might be a little confusing to you and um, I decided to make this tutorial because it has little bits and pieces in it that will help you better understand creating a window later on when we actually get to it. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go to file, new Java project. I'll just name mine YouTube random generator. We'll go to next and finish. Now here it is right here. Yeah, whatever. Um, we'll go down to the SRC new class and we'll just name it random gen. And we'll go ahead and let it create the public static void main class, the main class. Um, since we've already done that so much, you can go ahead and start doing this if you want to. Um, go ahead and click finish. And you can see it's already made our main method for us. Um, let's go ahead and just get rid of all of these useless comments. And let's go ahead and get started. So um, here we have our main method. And what we need to do is we need to import something. Now basically what that does is there are some things like the math class that I've talked about in the previous tutorials that come already built in um, to Java and in your program and you don't have to import any of Java's classes to use them. They're just already there. Now with a bunch of Java's classes that you're going to be using and packages, um, you're going to need to be importing them. Um, so basically what this does is it searches through the library, grabs those um, packages, classes, and uh, methods. It pulls them out and s sets them out ready for you to use. So we'll go ahead and import Java, which is the um, I think it's the I think it's the package. I don't know. I get this confused a lot. But Java dot util for utility dot random with a capital R. So now that we've imported the random class. I think it's a class. I'm not sure, but uh, go ahead and look that up if you wanna. If you're real curious and you wanna know it, but now that we've imported random, we're gonna go ahead and create our random object. So basically, what you wanna do is in Java, whenever you import something, if you wanna use a method that's in there, you gotta create an object from it so you can use that object. And basically, what the object is is it's similar to a variable type. And um, whenever it's called, whenever that object is used, then it calls that method. So to go ahead and create your random object, we're going to type random and name it whatever you want. I'll just name mine Sam equals new random. So basically, what we've done is we've created a new random object, and the name of it is Sam. So whenever we want to use the random method, um, we just call Sam and if you create more than one random object whenever you use that random method let's say we make another one called uh, random John equals new random we can call those two separately and they'll be different um, so you're not just using random over and over again um, you can see what you're using it for and it'll have different names so now that we've created that object we're going to go ahead and print it out on the screen so we're going to do system dot out dot print line and we're going to go ahead and sam dot next int so basically what next int does is um returns the next pseudo ra pseudo random um basically what that means is it's going to go on to the next random number that this method has created and now inside of your parameters which we talked about in previous tutorials you want to type um, the number the amount of numbers that it can go to so if you type 50 it's gonna be um, 0 through um, 50 which will be 51 numbers and if you just want 50 numbers then I'll show you how to correct that in a second so if we type 50 right here 
and if we go ahead and do this a bunch of times now I could show you how to do this with a loop but we haven't got into the loops yet um, and I don't want to confuse you any more than you probably already are um, I'll just go ahead and do this a couple times ah. okay so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna print line uh, sam dot next int between 0 and 50 and it's gonna do that five times so if we go ahead and run this we go to the console. It's 1939, 190, and 43. So you can see there that we got um, five random numbers. And you can see one of them is zero. Now, if you don't want that to happen um, and you wanted to guess a random number from 1 to 50, so it can be 50 or 1 or anything in between, then there's a simple fix for that. And um, this is one thing you have to remember a lot in Java is that whenever you're counting or doing anything in Java the computer starts with the number zero unlike people so you always have to keep that in mind so if you do 49 it's gonna be 0 to 49 but you don't want that so if you just add one it'll um, add one to that so if the computer randomly generates the number 49 then it'll be 50 and if it randomly generates the number zero then it'll be one so this fixes your problem and you get a random number that's 150 or anything in between so if we go ahead and copy that we want to delete all this out we'll just do it a bunch of times so hopefully we'll get one or or a fifty um, we didn't get it there let's run it again alright so there we got a one which the computer sees as zero and it adds one to it let's see if we can get a fifty here ah <laughs> it doesn't want to generate fifty alright I'm gonna try one more time see if it works and no it doesn't so um hopefully you guys believe me but um when you're doing it like this it'll generate 150 or anywhere in between so go ahead and look at this code uh, play around with it get familiar with objects that's something that you're going to be using in almost every single program you make and you have to be familiar with objects and able to use them and feel confident with them so go ahead and practice this a bunch and then move on to the next tutorial and don't forget to comment like and subscribe